All right, everyone. We are back with The Walking Dead. We just finished up season one. We left off where we are at the motel. We have Doug with us. We got Clementine, Duck, Kenny, Katja, Larry, and Lily. Larry tried to kill me. Uh, Kenny saved my life. And hopefully Larry dies soon because I hate Larry. But we're going to see how this plays out in the second episode. Or episode, not season. Oh. oh. What's going on? There we go. <laughs> Just took a second. Previously on the walking. Oh, hold on. Let's do. Walking All right. I know who you are. Oh, I Fucking got another good one for you. Oh, Lord. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. Replay for those of you who weren't here. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. I but if anything that happens first to episode. my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. You better watch your fucking ass, old man. I'm tired of his shit. I do nothing to him. He come at me like that. Ooh, pretty. All right, so it's fall. We I mean, winter soon. They get this time. Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Well, Maybe what? There's like eight of you now, right? Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. A uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed, just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think Bama. he's starting to lose it. Welcome. He's not the only one. Won't you cut yeah, him some Yeah, Charlie's got her own stream now. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Uh. We'll manage. Figure it Maybe. out. We'll manage. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and function. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny's not gonna advance. abandon us. He's a good man. Well, he won't yeah, abandon we'll me. See. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Kenny loves Seems me. Like he's got a problem with you in particular. <sighs> I don't think he's racist. He, he thinks just thinks I'm, I'm a dangerous. To the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. 
The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pilot. He's a big pilot. boy. I know I wouldn't want to be That'd stuck be in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. The bird's not worth it. Oh, absolutely yeah, not. I'm just really freaking hungry. Yeah, okay. Oh, what the hell? Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Sound like Kenny. Come on! Yeah, I don't think that's Kenny. Oh, look at that, I was right. Oh, that sucks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. I think it's still a little too loud. Let me bump it down one. All right, and if anybody's watching, if that's a little too quiet, just let me know, and I'll bump it back up one, but... We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee. It's a little too loud. You guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? I don't know, man. What the hell happened? Mr. Parker said we should stay off the streets. I hate we were trying to be careful, mouse. but... Uh... Lee, this is fucked up. We've got to help him. Please. Ben, shut up! What the fuck My are we supposed to do? It's like a what bear I'm trap. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Uh. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Okay. <laughs> hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Then either we're leaving his ass. It's now or never leave. Please get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Don't we Kenny, already have a food shortage? Of Why are we gonna bring him with us? Lee, do something. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Anything, please. I mean, try to cut the chain. I don't want to chop his leg off. I want to leave his ass to die. <laughs> want to bring him back? All right. I'm not gonna die from blood loss, anyways. Thank you for that juicy, juicy close up. He passed out. Yeah, I guess He's we'll. Alive. Grab him and let's go. Could we have chopped the chain? Because I didn't even see that he, there was a chain right there. I guess you probably could have done that. Behind you, Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move. Bye, bye, Travis. Why did he always trip? There was literally nothing for him to trip on. No! Yeah, see the chain around the tree? I think we probably could have chopped the chain, but eh, it's too late now. There's no way that guy survives. He's like bleeding out completely. How's it going, Bama? What you been up to? Clementine's got a soccer ball. Found some crayons for duck. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that.
So peaceful. So quiet. Oh, look at the little bells that they got. That's got to be Doug. See, I knew I saved him for a, re for a reason. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see. I'm okay, can. darling. Can don't you, you worry. Him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee. What the hell? What you the can't fuck, just be bringing Lily? you people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. <laughs> well, I we left the other one behind. More mouths to feed was a good <laughs> idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else, just us. How do you know he's not lying? Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like oh, to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own I'm goddamn decisions. I'm gonna read your message decisions. in a second, fam. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Well, Skinny's Kenny. right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. Really? You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, yeah, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would I did too. <laughs> ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. I wonder if just standing there would have had had That's us leave him behind. That's all for today. Instead of you decide who gets to eat. I kind of want to start no, over. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Not that far into the episode. Well, first things first. We gonna feed the people working on the wall because they're working on the wall. The kids will be fine. They're little. <sighs> Except Larry. Fuck Larry. Damn, Pam. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You getting into any fights now? How, how, and how do you almost get hit by a taxi? Like, did you step out on the street? It run up on the side? What happened? Okay, so let's take a look around where we start just chit-chatting. So this was a little bell system. I knew it was Doug that made it. He's so smart. I knew I saved him. Oh... Uh, Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Wow. Yeah, definitely not fucking feeding him. Fuck him. He's such a dick. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Oh, no, where'd her help go? Sure. I 
absolutely. I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Well, shit, I'm glad he stopped in time, though. Um. Okay, so. Someone kicked the car, that's funny. I'm not giving any food. I feel like I need to give Clem... Let's go ahead and give her food. We'll give Clementine food. We'll give some to... Here, Clem. Um, you need something to eat. What's your face? Um, Why don't you have the crackers and cheese? Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Uh, you? Never. Alright, so I have three left. So, I kind of want to do Carly. Mm, is that her name? No, Lily. Lily. I don't want to do Lily because she probably really hates me by now. Um. And yeah, like he was saying, he's fine. He's got a lot of muscle on him. So, if I have three left, let me go ahead and find... Wah! Can I not? Okay. Where? Okay. Well, where the fuck is she? God, these camera angles are weird. How do I... What the fuck? Where is she? Oh! <laughs> Here. Uh... Mm, I don't think it matters. I'll give you the crackers. I don't want anything from you. Fuck you! Take it! Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. It does change things. Now you're less pissy, because... Okay. Find the dad. I don't want to give him food. He was a dick. I kind of want to give... Because he's, he's little. He needs to eat. He's, he's skinny. Here, eat something. Uh, give you an apple. You got you an apple. Wow, thanks a lot. That's that's awesome. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, okay. we could see? use your axe. <laughs> He's you rude. Take it. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Fuck you, Larry. <sighs> here, Mark. This should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Fuck Come you! On, Mary, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Uh, yeah, yeah that is. That's right. this is literally what you, what you do about it. Look, I don't care what it is. I hate him. I hate Larry. To start trying to get along. I hate Larry the so much. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter, and right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Yeah, Bama, I would have done that, but I'm trying... Trying to make a nice with everyone minus Larry. Alright, so... Ooh. Uh, some we'll of these people else. have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Let's... So there's Katja, Doug, which they're both pretty thick. Um, Duck and Kenny. Uh, I'll give it to Kenny. He's a big strong man. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Uh, no. 
Come talk to me once my boy's taken care of. Ugh. I don't want to feed duck. Oh, they switched it up on me. Uh, Tried so to many trick me. Have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We'll give it to Duck. Did I give it to him? I'm not giving it to him. Fuck Ben. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? <laughs> Stupid yeah. little smile. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Okay. Right, you just sit over there and draw your creepy-ass dark shadow figures. Not such an easy job, is it? Hey, uh, Doug, I kind of saved your life, know, so I think I you can go you one more day without food there, day. but... I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before... Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. <laughs> Kenny That's loves good. me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? Sit down. There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Fuck you off. You want to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, <laughs> Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. Don't See, I told you that's shit. what was going to happen. Ken, come back. There's nothing. Let him go, Katja. But he just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. He had too many people to feed anyway. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Oh, Jesus! I got you, gotcha! Oh, the axe. Hurry. Oh, what the- <laughs> I'm in the truck! I'm in the truck! <laughs> Where's my head? <laughs> oh, no, no. Where was my head? <laughs> I got him! Oh my god, tell me that that glitch came through on the stream. No my problem. head was gone. We, back, <laughs> we were inside the truck bed. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, that was asshole? Funny. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! That's you so distracted by bitten. that. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't! Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my <laughs> wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, you don't it's know? It's not the bite that does it. You better call You come somebody. back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? Holy I, shit. I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God... It works. Of course it works. Oh, yeah. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are 
they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough. Oh, shit. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no problem. Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'll go too. Improve the numbers in case we run into anything dead. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Hmm. You've got a deal. Sure. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Hmm. Thanks for coming along, Doug. Sure. That's what we need. I'd we like need to some get a look food. at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor end. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah. Seems oh, it's always too good to be true, Bama. Cooks always. The inside out, right? I guess so. So, we'll if the walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. It probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Man, I could go for some jerky. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. Yeah, no problem. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, we'd love to get you You're not all just giving out up the free day. information. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for Brother's creepy. Uh, as I don't long like as I him. can remember, but uh, now it's. You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fucking you knew we were hungry, and you guys were keeping it all for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> God damn. Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Woo! Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. 
The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us, What's just up, Soggy? Oh, wow. You've got welcome, enough welcome, electricity welcome. to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. You're doing it's some walking juice. dead. I thought I saw y'all with company she coming been down up the too. drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. <laughs> they got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's oh, yeah. good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh... Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Biscuits! Holy moly! Sorry. <laughs> Can't get stuff like that I anymore. love Doug. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. But we could bring her here. <laughs> we can help you folks out. Those biscuits okay. did look dry as fuck. Oh my! Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. All right, St. John Dairy. Broken ass swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Hell yeah. Go get our, get our girl a swang. Where was he? We were just talking to him. Oh. Could be useful if I can find some boards to cut. 
Oh, would you look at that? A board. Mind it's if uncut. I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Okay, he also said some rope. I don't think we needed some rope. Isn't there already rope there? Oh, just on one side. Um know where I could find some rope. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if anyone tries to fuck with us, they'll regret it. Mm -hmm. Well, protecting your people is important, but in my experience, having that many guns around is when people get dangerous. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know? Like us. Hmm. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but... Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Uh, what? So if they, that doesn't make sense. Why would you move on? Oh, good. Even to find Pencil's somebody, like about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded. This far in, they the most likely would be dead. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves doesn't make any if sense. you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be He's great. Suspicious. I'll turn I don't off like the northwest He's too friendly. section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. <clears throat> but no, I didn't want to do this now. I was fixing the swing. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. He's I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Make it short, jeez. Ooh, can we take the arrow? Disgusting. What? Uh. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Come on now. Uh. <laughs> 
hang it on. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all well, the kids got to eat, so it's all good. Just try to focus on the task. They knew I'm what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Uh, push! Push, you heavy bastard! Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences uh, are on. Why the hell would he turn the, the fences? Why the fuck? He knows we're out here. Uh, uh, he just fucking set us up? What the? Get to the gate! He just set us up! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Show yourself. Did you really think you'd fuck with oh. us? Oh, okay. Home? Well, let's one get rid of this. Now there you are, boy. Give us the food. All right. Take I got it. Come on, if we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! The shit, that hurts. I got you now! What about our arrangement? Damn! <laughs> get closer! What happened? Oh, shit. It's you. one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. No, it's not. How did it get... Oh, I don't trust this. I absolutely don't trust this. It ain't right. We had a day to be yelping. Can I pull him? Oh, okay, okay. All right. He ain't dead. Where do you think you're going? That's not one of the dead you pulled off because he's not all burnt. What about our arrangement? That Another one's burnt. One? How many of those things did we push down? Literally only one. You didn't deliver the goods. Now we're gonna take what's ours. Give it to you. What? Ah! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you twice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Now yeet him. Yeet him. You okay? Yeah. Uh, barely. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's get out of here. Wasting a lot of arrows. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead and run. We ain't going nowhere. Uh, all right, then. Cheese it's for the win. Lee, what's wrong? It was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? <laughs> bandits here Holy on our shit. Property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. 
I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning, killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. It was just a fluke thing. We can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a fluke? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. I you know do not like him. Are? They're hard he to pin creepy as fuck. I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doug? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Fucking Doug. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. What? Swings. I was gonna fix that I swing love up. swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Hmm. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. I have ran out of drink. So I am going to be right back, literally like, I don't know, 50 seconds, but I'll be right back and then we will go kick some bandit ass. Right. Got a couple water bottles, so I don't have to get up again. All right, so let's check out what's going on now. What the fuck? Oh. <laughs> oh Kenny is ripping hey, his ass. You like the swing? It's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Hell yeah. Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. 
Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Shit. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Uh... Yeah. I'm not sure <coughs> yet. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me, me too. too. How you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Ma. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck. <laughs> I so love I'm her. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> all right, Kenny. You got anything to say? Oh, what the fuck? Where is he going? Hey. Haley. Found anything interesting? I'm just trying to make sure this place is secure. In case we decide to make this a more long-term solution. Except for those people in the woods. Seems pretty safe. Good to know. Keep your ears open for anything else that might help us. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Uh, if everything works out. Maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better sick. life than starving earlier. to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh... Lily isn't too thrilled well, about being here. Try to feed his I could ass give first, two shits about what me. Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch him go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. Okay. They're up there. They're waiting on me. But... I see them standing over there. So let me go talk to Lily and Larry. See what they got to say. Oh, we can go in the barn? Okay, well, let's see what's in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here and I know, right? If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could over there camp stand out here up and pushing ships. that kid like a damn rocket. And he's a little dramatic sometimes. Well, I'm not talking to him. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. I hate him. How could you all bring us to this place? Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Well, that's fucking stupid. He's a dick. 
Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, I... I can respect that. He's still a dick, but I can respect that. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. <laughs> and then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's... I agree easy. with that. I don't want to push it. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? Oh, don't ask me that. Uh... You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy with that. Alright, alright. Let's go. And... Shoot some bandits. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? It's so awkward. Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you. Yeah, look at the brother on the left, though. No shit. He doesn't make you eye contact. You, buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? He the just looks go out and do some creepy. Recon, and we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Hell yeah. Let's do yeah. it. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Agreed. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. <laughs> I love her. I love you, Clementine. You're my girl. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. I know. She's adorable. So innocent. Here. Oh, oh shit. they're gone. You found it? See if they have any food. Take that back. Well, there's a save lots box from where the kid Have was talking anybody? about how they raided his camp. Stay on your guard. 
Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Fucking cat or a bird or some shit's gonna pop out. <clears throat> or not. Hey, what was that? Clear. That looked like Clem's hat. This Under the blanket. Small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Oof. That looked like Clem's hat. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. <sighs> he won't get out of the way. Uh, I mean, I guess if that's all that they have. Empty. Hmm. Is there anything? I don't want to look at here. Nothing. Nothing. Got anything on the stove? Look like it. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Oh, shopping cart. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Save lots box. Oh. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yuck. I don't need that. Okay, so I looked at everything. Hands. We looked at the Nothing but fuels. Shit. Okay, so we looked at the the boxes, the shopping cart. We didn't look at that. Apparently he has to walk all the way around to do. Just water. Alright, what about the chair? Maybe then he'll move and get the fuck out of the way. Looks like they expected to be here a while. No shit! Now let... Move! I want her hat! It's my money and I want it now. Alright, so... We looked at the empty bottles. We looked at the gas can. Okay. I thought we already looked at that. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Nope. A little tape recorder. What do you or find? Camera. A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? He is Let's acting real fucking suspicious. Get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Don't want me to Lily, open the hunter? boxes? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. What's a camera? What is he afraid gonna be on there? Oh, we going in this motherfucker tent. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's her hat. I saw the purple. G 
give me this damn hat. Take my baby's hat. The hell? Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. What, you what does me. he do? Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe I don't think she I is. Think. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you know what? Crazy. I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. For oh! See, I was trying to get some information, and he shot her. They're up to fucking something. They are up to something. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Actually, no, she didn't. She had it pointed at mine, bitch. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. What a waste going of back? what? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. She was literally about to tell us what they were doing. And he killed her. You're going to find out, though. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. They it sounds fucking crazy. Would have wanted. Terry. My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. The the mama or the lady sh he just killed. What's going on with them? Uh, Bama. Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know. Well, it's probably just the uh, whole talk. I... We all get a little testy. I don't think so, because when we found Anyway, Clementine in her house, we saw a picture of her mom and dad. I'm sorry, you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time. Which that's But in the um the first don't vod. If you didn't get a chance to see that, I would go check that out. Around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I think she was just crazy. <laughs> Clementine. 
Hell yeah, let's go give her her hat. Alright, so she's up there. Is Kenny... Who is this? Oh. Uh, okay. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Oh, what, what the fuck? You really like that girl. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a <laughs> Of course, of course the gun's named after me. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators <laughs> running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. <laughs> Y'all are luckier on this side. Tune into next now. episode where he gets jiggy with the you rifle. Guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. That's I'm gonna cool. go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Why is he so creepy? He's fucking in love with the rifle, making out with it. Oh, what can I grab from here? Uh, okay. I guess we'll take that. <laughs> Why? Why are we borrowing the thing? Okay. Guess we'll need that for later. Um, go talk to her. See what happened with Kenny. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Uh, yeah, uh, Danny so fucking woman, shot someone. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow, so Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I don't think, I think so. She was trying to tell me something, but then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we. I agree. Know what to expect. I agree. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? I want to get the fuck Why out of this little fucking camp. Uh, it's nothing. Day now, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. Yeah, what, what were, were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and <laughs> that these people are hiding something. Oh, uh, he's, he's totally right. Mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already not are. Not Larry. Larry's not right. I'm talking about Kenny being we right about searching the, the barn. and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, yeah we'll and fine. we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Shut up, Larry. I'm gonna name the next fucking video, uh, next fucking, uh, stream, Shut Up Larry. <laughs> Fuck that guy, man. Such a dick. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Whoa. <laughs> Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? It's a salt lick. Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick the salt lick? Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> She totally fucking did. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! 
Yeah, I did, darling. I got you your hat. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Yeah. Did you, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe You're my kid. Like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you You're want welcome, to pet darling. the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Talk to her. Hey there, you. Andy. Yeah. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. I don't like this. Uh, I got a bad think, feeling. Uh, we might eat. Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. What is uh, okay? They keep talking about her cut, like cooking. What is she making? Is it just gonna be fucking biscuits and butter? Cause what all can she do with just dairy? Like, I don't. I didn't see like any chickens or like they never talked about like going hunting or anything. So what? What grub is she making? And where the fuck is Kenny? Or Popeye's biscuit. Yeah, corn makes sense, but I didn't see any corn growing. Uh, there's a rock right there. Okay. Another salt lick hay bale. Oh, I saw some. Oh, right there. I want to put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Oh, were there corn, corn stalks? Oh, I didn't see those. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. There was a uh, corn going all the way uh, up the drive. That's right. The fuck? Empty. Why don't they just have a pile of empty boxes? But I guess you're gonna storm somewhere. Alright, well, let's check this one. Another. Uh. <laughs> what is this? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Uh. What the fuck? Okay. Rocks. Alright, so these people are getting fucking sketchier and sketchier by the fucking second. Alright, another rock. I have yet to find... Oh, what was that? Oh, was just... I have yet to find Kenny. Oh! We can open this door. Okay, well, let's go here. Oh. You found it too, huh? Got a freaking padlock on it. Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. Oh, Kenny's right. What about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? 
You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right. Professor, I got the pliers. Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. You can, uh, twit the, what are they, screws? You can, yeah, use the, uh, the pliers, right? Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Wow. You are not saying what I'm wow. saying. Wow. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Damn, Kenny. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know. Oh, yeah, I can see this, the corn socks through there. Through the window. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, so they got a padlock secret room. They got a fucking stall full of, like, old, dirty clothes. The Creepy Brothers got an infatuation with his rifle. And... Oh. Uh, what was his name? Danny killed that woman right before she was about to say... Or talking about how she knew what they were and what they oh. did. <laughs> So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I There's evil of a... Possibly? Yeah, and we haven't seen, um... What was his name? Uh, was it... Was it Ben? No, Ben's the kid. Uh, whatever that other guy's name was. Mark. Yeah, we haven't seen Mark since that arrow. So, maybe Mark died and, like, they're afraid to tell us because then we won't give him gas, but... I don't know, it's just... It's real weird. Okay, so I'm supposed to find a screwdriver. So I already pulled pliers from that toolbox. So I don't know. I can't ask him. Uh, maybe I can go up here? Maybe I can go in the house? I haven't tried that yet. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. With the generator? Way. Okay. I'll go back <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Oh, okay. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still Okay, like to so out. Mark's alive. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Why can't we go see him? So, what do y'all keep in the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. But see, like, if they didn't have anything to hide, you ask that question, it wouldn't be like, oh, wow, you're snooping. You'd be like, oh, yeah, we just we just keep some fucking tools back there. We keep we keep the feed for the cows back there. We lock it up so that critters don't get in. Like, we ran into some trouble out there. They're making a I'm lot more sketch than it needs to be. Those They're just not good at lying. 
But my boys, they can hold their own. Your boy is nuts. Before she died, <laughs> we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind I don't of like her either. She had a little bit rude. Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Boy, why? Hmm. I don't like her. She was nice at first. She's that sickly sweet. All right, Bama says check out the generator. So let's take a look. Oh, uh. Well, I don't want to just turn it off because it'll just come turn it back on. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. But I. Oh, the players have. Hey. Really? Uh, I think it's moving pretty fast. So. Ow, damn it! Thing is moving fast. Oh, uh -huh. I'm stupid. Wait, isn't she just <clears throat> sitting on the porch? The on too tight for my bare hands. Really? Just gonna take our damn time. There, that should do it. All right, now haul ass. No one saw me do that. No one. Thing through a belt. Damn it. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Oh, take forever, you say. Don't mind if I do. Guess we'll just uh, go have a have a look see. Have a little bit of peek in your back secret room. Don't be fucking Mark laying back there on the floor. You're gonna be dead on the floor. All right, Kenny. We gonna get this. Oh, dinner time. Mom, Dad, dinner right, time. Perfect. It's dinner time. Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad, Dad, come Piss on. Off. Let's eat. Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Alright, let's go. We can go get some food. And then get the fuck out of here. I'm so anxious right now. <gasps> what is it? What is it, Lee? Oh, what the fuck? Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Why is there so Dinner much time. blood? Oh, look at that. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, Bama, I didn't even think about that. The fucking bear trap. Oh, it glitched again. Oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Bet your fucking ass they're the ones that Excuse put him me. out she there. Had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody he got a gun on him. Get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day.
What is... Okay, red cord. In the medicine cap. Some kind of lotion. Lotion? I uh, could use a shave. Shave. Gauze pads. Gauze. Okay, nothing interesting in there. There's a... There's a cord going up the stairs. No, no fucking way they're fucking eating him. That make fucking sense though. Mark's been gone. Okay, so the cord leads here. Uh Okay, we'll put the cord on. Oh, <gasps> what's that? What the hell? It's a light. Where's the... Okay. Morphine. Box of candles. Medical supplies. Okay, towel. Alright, so we see all that. Okay, so it's gotta be in here. Mark. Okay, so I see all this. So far. Oh, I see. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Mark has to be in here. He has to be. God, Teddy's Martin. <gasps> hey, you. Mark! He got no legs! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? Uh, brothers. What the fuck? With your bags, man. Don't eat dinner. Oh my god, go get Clem! Go get Clem! Don't let her eat the man! Don't let her eat the man meat! It's people. What? Uh -huh. <gasps> yes, Lee. It's all people in here. Sit down. Your supper's getting cold. <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a no, meal. I picked her up, Joyce. She ate. He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Why aren't they listening? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down. All he had was a fucking arrow in his shoulder. How would he would have died? Waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. 
What the what? The fucking black Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking out of go here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. <gasps> Lee? Lee? Oh, you put your motherfucking hands on my girl! I'll kill you! Who? I, I'm gonna bust your face in, boy. Just fucking try me. The fuck? Is that yes. Mark? Uh, someone. Ah. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. He oh, put God. his hands, his little you cannibal hands, on my girl. Oh, oh, they oh, all God. gonna die. I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands. We gotta find another way out. They of all here. gonna die. All of them. They all gonna oh, die. Shit, fucking bastards. Mm. Open this door, goddammit. I'm so sorry, Clem. I couldn't get you. It's well, I did get you. Person. I ate meat from a person. Does that mean I'm gonna turn into... No, no Clem. It, it, it doesn't work like that. I just picked the wrong thing. Us in time. Come on, Dad. Fuck now you, Larry. Time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. We got you, darling. No, Don't you worry. No worse than the Dad, please. Okay. Those are boxes. Those are shelves. Settle down. I'll rip your goddamn heads off. Pallets. Be a hole behind these pallets. Oh, is that a vent? No such luck. Oh, let's look at the vent. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Oh, it's an AC unit. Easy. Well, I guess yeah, because it's a refrigerator. Oh, going down again. Get him those damn pills. No, Dad, come on, Dad. Oh God, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. She's doing CPR, though. How fast he's he fine. As long as you keep the heart flying, he'll be okay. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Uh... We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the yeah, same Yeah, exactly. Now. different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Except you Remember don't. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. She's come doing on, Lee, CPR right on this. him right now. You're fine. You always do. God damn it, Lee! I need you. Please help me. Okay, come okay. On, uh, come on. All right, Kenny. I've had your back with everything, and I hate Larry, oh but. Lee, is he breathing at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! You're putting what? all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! You're Three. fucking worthless, Lee. <gasps> what? No! The fuck? Kenny, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be what? done. You don't know that! The yes, fuck? Do, and so do you. Kenny! You're back on everything I else. You fucking touch me. <laughs> and you scared Clem. Oh, I'm a, I, I'm just gonna kill everyone. It's gonna be me and Clem on the road. Is it over? 
Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Uh... How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? I can't believe he Found just fucking did that shit. Lynn has a fucking out. audacity to get pissed with me. Like, I... I saved your son on multiple occasions, had your back for fucking everything, and you want to act like an asshole when I try to save somebody else. Fuck you, Kenny. Dick. Yes, I see the AC unit. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. If I had something to remove the screws, the multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we <coughs> could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. <laughs> coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Coin? Doesn't Larry have coins in his pocket? Didn't he say he had like 60 cents or something? Oh god, I do not want to ask her. Uh... He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. Salt break. I, I don't want to... I'm sorry, Lily. I don't want to use the, the brick to take it off, because I feel like it's going to make too much noise. So great, but I know he would have done anything to protect you. He was a good father. <laughs> I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. idea which pocket he keeps us change in didn't he say something about I think it would be this one it's the one that's up more A ring. my mother's don't worry I'm not taking it okay then this one here we go two quarters and a dime Let's talk to him, see if he's calmed himself down. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we've got to have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Dust? It's never going to yeah. come to that. Not if I have anything to do exactly. with it. Exactly. Oh, we know the St. John's might have. No, they they need Katya, Remember? You need to go well, outside because you're over here farting. Here. And no doubt they're using reeks. duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. Dick boy. All right, fine, whatever. Fuck you, Kenny. Wasn't there another little conversation bubble I could do? Look, if we're gonna survive this shit, we've got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then the hell with her. Alright, so she's fine. Talk to her, talk to him. Okay. Let's get out of here. Screws and get this unit off. Send him through first? Hell yeah. Be right here. Uh, we want to do this. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Kenny, you're getting on my fucking nerves. I don't see you coming up with any fucking idea of how to get out. Well, 
There's our way out, Lee. Doesn't look like he's gonna fit. Uh. Yeah, Clementine Clementine. can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> Shut up, okay. Penny. Don't fucking talk to her. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Yogi? She did it. Okay. Good Damn job, it. Clem. No, but there's a man outside. Where the hell are you going? What do you care? Kenny! Lily, I'm sorry. You what you go. up to, Yogi? I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. Hey, we're good. Okay? Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. <laughs> well, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, we uh, we just found out that um, little dairy farm is fucking cannibal operation. So that was fun. I told you there was something up at this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. All right, so first off, I'm grabbing a fucking weapon. Okay, <laughs> I am not. What is this? Ooh, a cattle prod. Uh. But then you gotta be pretty close range with that, though. Can I take both? Okay, guess not. Uh, we'll stick with the hay hook. Sharp. Ooh, can I take this? Oh, I'm taking the sickle. Or, yeah, sickle. I think that's what it said. Yeah. What else is on here? And Bama, you're definitely right about these fucking bear traps, yo. This is Okay. What the hell do you think you're doing? Getting my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan as any. What food did y'all get? Pretty hungry too. I need to go eat actual food. Just realized I haven't eaten today. There's no way he didn't see us. I'm gonna say we can't keep that many folks around and not expect trouble. One to keep. I'm not peeking out. Not the kid. I'm gonna be on the trail. Oh, I know, Mabel. This is my favorite Keep your eye on too. Fuck off, Kenny. Think they can just walk right out. Oh god, oh god. Shut up. Thinks this is a game. God. We'll take him out together. How? Oh, oh hell yeah. He's gotta walk past us to get to the lead locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. 
<laughs> I don't want to. Kenny, you motherfucker. Yeah, Lily! Get him! Oh, kill him! Yeah, fuck you! And fuck you, Kenny, motherfucker. I'm gonna talk about doing the hard thing. No. Thought we were friends. I don't want some cheese fries now. You see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. That's why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Ooh. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. <laughs> Fucking cow. Fuck you! <laughs> no! Oh no! She'll be fine. It needed to be done. She'll be okay. God, no! Gotcha! Let's go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Yeah, fuck that goddamn creep. Egan Charlotte, that's funny. Kitty. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Love Doug. Ah. Dumbass. Doug. Doug, what the hell was that? Morris code. You almost blinded me. Stop. Sorry <laughs> about that. But I did get your attention. <laughs> we heard screams from the barn. What's going on? Uh, they're fucking crazy. <laughs> we need your help. Oh, God. What happened? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. Oh, yeah. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on. This way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. <laughs> All right, let's go get Kacha. Oh, no. I'm gonna take the boy and kick around. Oh, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Settle down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Uh. I'm not saying shit. Please, please don't you take another step. Brit, 
Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there, I mean it. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, okay. Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her. Oh, lady. it's Mark! Just let me go. Oh, if we can get her to edge up the stairs. Stay back! Okay, Don't okay. Do anything stupid. Okay. Okay, okay. Let her go. I had a reason her. with her. She's crazy. <laughs> Okay, okay, God, Jesus, fuck. Temperamental. Okay, go on, just a little bit more. A little bit I don't wanna kill you, Lee! Go on, back up the stairs a little bit more, honey. Please don't make this any worse. Just stop! Yeah, grab her. Grab her, Mark! Mark for the win. That ain't gonna happen. Andy, don't shut up. Kenny, fucking idiot. Andy, who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done. Us? You're the one that shouldn't have fucking brought us here, then. No, uh-uh. You sent us packing with some food. All we wanted was a little gas to keep ourselves safe. There you go, blind his ass! Blind his ass! Get him! Get him, Lee! Get him, Lee! Get him, Lee! Oh, got him mashing the button! Fuck! Oh, B! Oh, I almost hit the wrong one! <laughs> I gotta remember where B was. Oh! Ooh, that hurt. So is no one gonna help me? Uh, fuck you. Fuck you! Oh, you're gonna give me A, aren't you? Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! What? How did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's try that again. Was mashing A so hard. Ugh. All right, all right, we got this. We got this. My little thumb just couldn't go fast enough. Get up. Get the fuck up. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. I don't know how! I don't know how! Am I supposed to press or hold? This is stupid! Am I supposed to be reaching for something? I don't... Just my index finger. Oh, that's good idea. Oh, oh God! This is bad! No! Really, Let Lily? Me. Yeah, Lily! <laughs> Thanks, Bama. Yeah, fuck you. Wait, fuck. Fuck you. Wait, what? Why wasn't it letting me? <laughs> Is 
Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! <laughs> Do this day that mama get out here! You... You all fucked! Yeah, Dan and mama are dead, baby boy! They're both dead. What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Actually, I didn't do anything to her. She did that to herself. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! I'm not killing Get him. Let him live by himself. This, for the rest of his little life. She already saw me kill, kill someone. I'm not gonna kill anybody. Yeah, let's go home. Get back here and Let him me live like with man, the, Lee. the suffering of being by himself. Lee. I didn't want to kill anybody else in front of her. Plus, the zombies are gonna get him anyways. It's all good. It's all good. Let's go. Man on it is toasty in here. Yeah. Oh, look, mama's coming down the hill. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This has been a hell of an epi uh, episode, man. Fucking cannibals and. Kenny's a dick. Clementine's a fucking trooper, man. Hey, Lee. Oh, yeah, Larry's dead. Murder in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. Hey, it worked. I'm glad you showed up when you did. Yeah. Well, we gotta stick together. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah. Yep. And Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. Oh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. The save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out. See if I can get it working. Oh, yeah. Uh, give it to Clem. How are you doing? Place that walkie-talkie. I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. You absolutely didn't. I saved them time and time again. I do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's way for a while. I'm by me. Fuck you. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yeah, yes, I did. They were bad men, Clementine. He was trying to make love to they a fucking more, rifle. They were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God, not more strangers. Ooh, hopefully it has supplies in it.
Don't shoot. We're here to help. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. Oh, shit! It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. Full <sighs> choice of words, Catcher. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, who's Yeah, but car why is would it? they have just left their don't car worry about here that, running? Dad. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What do you guys what think? It's not? Take the supplies or don't take supplies? Because this well, looks like it's coming it's up to a, what to a choice. <clears throat> Winter's coming up. We need food. But, I mean, Clementine doesn't want us to take it. What you guys think? I don't think we're timed on this one. Take it. Don't. Ah. <laughs> uh, we need food, though. She. I. I don't know, cause I don't want to ruin mine and her relationship, cause she already saw me kill that one guy. But she needs to eat, man. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll take it. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but it's not about right and wrong anymore. It's about survival. Yeah. It's different if they were there at the car and we, you know, killed them for it, but... Oh, that was glitchy. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. That hoodie for, uh... More food Clementine. <laughs> She'll get over it. Supplies? I'll take it. Got a box of food here. A big old box of food. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. <laughs> that would you be funny as fuck. It might get cold. It's not mine. I'll just well, hold on to it like then. You hold it on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him. Okay. Okay. Got a suitcase? I would look in the suitcase, too. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Oh, yo? What the fuck? That must have been when they first went to the motel. Who's recording them? Is it that crazy bitch? Jake, Bart, Linda, and all y'all fucking sickos from the save lots. They call y'all bandits, but you're fucking rapists. Ow. Oh, darling, baby, look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. 
Why was she filming Clem, though? Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you gotta be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who do. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. So what was the point of that coming up now? That girl was already dead. And we already figured out what the dairy was doing. Time. It's time to move on. Screw it. Not like you ever listened to a damned word. Fuck I off, said. Kenny. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases anymore. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? You murdered her dad. I did what I had to, and you know it. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, alright? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! Oh shit. Alright. We did shop off his leg, so I guess that is an option to leave him. Shot Jolie. Danny shot her. Okay. We didn't help Kale Larry. So we were actually with the majority from a, uh, for this time. Didn't kill both. Okay. And it was pretty split on stealing food from the car. So we were actually with the majority for this this round. I know uh, first episode we were <laughs> we were not. <laughs> People did not like our decisions. All right. Well, that was episode two. So it looks like with the uh, the next one coming up, looks like they're gonna be leaving the motel. Looks like things get a little bit hairy. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just end the stream. And I'm going to go ahead and start it up again so we can get a separate VOD for episode three and get that one rocking and rolling. Um, but yeah, so thanks everyone for hanging out and just stick around for just a few minutes. I'm going to let the dog out and get another... Get a little snacky poo, and I'll be right back. But, but yeah, I'm uh, Rapid Fire Charlie. Go ahead and do exclamation Discord in the chat. Find our link. Check out all the links in the bio. And, yeah, we'll see you next time. And for those that are here, stick around. And uh, I'll be right back.